After months of astronomical rates of car rentals and some people even using U-Hauls instead of car rentals, prices are finally falling back to earth. Yeah, now that summer vacation season is behind us, we ask KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt what we can expect next year. Matt? They call it the rental car apocalypse. There were so few rentals that prices to rent a car went through the roof. Well, there is still a shortage of new cars rolling off the line, but the KSL investigators found the price for rental cars has come way, way down. Why, you ask? KSL investigates. If you're one of the people who reserved a moving van to avoid paying an arm and a leg for an economy rental car, Scott Kyes of Scott's Cheap Flights has some good news. You no longer need to plan to pack the family into a U-Haul rental. Yeah, vacationers were actually doing that in Hawaii over the spring and summer as prices shot up to 1000 or 2000 for a five-day rental. Rental rates were sky high all over the country. Prices spiked when demand surged after rental agencies sold off hundreds of thousands of cars. And the car rental agencies were left flat footed and had to jack up the price until they could start to replenish those fleets. Travel site Hopper pegged the national average rate at $120 per day over the summer compared to just $45 before the pandemic. Fast forward to today, rentals are going for their normal pre-pandemic levels, according to Kai's. Orlando, the daily rates, again, were 20 bucks a day. Vegas, they were 30, $36 a day. Honolulu, 32 Denver, 43 Now, supply chain issues do continue to hurt the car industry with new cars rolling off the line slower than most would like. But the rental car companies have managed to slowly rebuild their fleets after selling off most of their inventory. Because of that, Kai's believes the eye-popping wallet gouging rates will not make a comeback. It's going to be, uh, stay a, li a little bit more stable, a little bit more predictable, and that's going to prevent the types of wild price swings that we saw in car rental prices earlier this year. And remember, with rental cars, there's usually not a penalty if you cancel and rebook. So after you've booked a rental car, it makes sense to go back and check those rates over and over again to see if prices have come down.